Good evening, humans. Transformers Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Elite Collection from the Vault 1 Kane figure from Mattel. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks awesome, and uh, just overall, it's, it's really cool ring gear. I think they really did a lot of justice, and uh, yeah, obviously, black is kind of the base color here, and then we've got some, you know, some nice reds, some nice kind of, well, it's kind of like dark mustardy yellow. <laughs> um, and, you know, it works, obviously, the flame design is very, very prominent as it usually usually is with Kane. We've seen the boots before many, many times. Um, then we get into the gear and, uh, you know, but not the cleanest with the belt. Mine's kind of like, kind of goes off and then on again, but, uh, you know, like not terrible. It's not, it's not distracting by any means. Um, and we get the gauntlets and we can see uh, some nice clean work, though it looks like right by the wrist on the left arm for mine, it was not painted in. Uh, I'm not sure if that was supposed to or not. Actually, I do, I do not own the original figure, um, but still, you know, very well done. And then the head sculpt, we believe this is the one we saw with the Ultimate Edition cane. And uh, yeah, I, just, I love this head sculpt. It absolutely just, it kicks ass. It's, it has the right amount of depth. The hair sculpt is perfect the way it lays. Uh, we get the different colored eyes, uh, nice clean paint on the mask itself. So it's really cool stuff all around. And uh, yeah, just a really cool looking figure. Not too much to speak of when it comes to accessories, but still what we have here definitely works. So right out of the box, we do get our pair of requisite C-grips and then we get a pair of flat palmed hands, which is pretty much the combination we see with every cane figure, which, you know, works absolutely. So there's that. And then finally, we get the WWE hardcore title. Really love the way this looks. You can see just basically the world title smashed up. You got all those pieces of duct tape on there. I remember this belt very, very well. <laughs> and uh, kind of awesome to see that, especially with the, you know, kind of Sharpie hardcore WWE and champion written on here. And unlike previous straps, this is a single mold. This isn't, you know, the strap with, you know, the, the plates all switched out. Uh, you know, you can see the negative there. So uh, yeah, just kind of is what it is. I think it works because it definitely makes it a little more pliable. And uh, really like that it kind of actually drapes over the shoulder of the figure, unlike some of those other belts that are kind of harder to, you know, you got to break in a little bit more. So that will do it for accessories. Articulation here is really nice, though unfortunately no freestanding kicks. Uh, you know, the, the balance on the figure is fine. Uh, we'll, we'll get into why it can't do the freestanding kicks at the end. Um, but overall, we do get our barbell at the neck. So we're looking a little bit up, getting much better on the down. Got some nice tilt. Of course, we get rotation. We are hinge and swivel at the arms, coming into a perfect T. We have bicep swivel double jointed elbows, bringing us to there. We get hinge and swivel at the wrists. We get our standard ab crunch. So here's our neutral. Forward just a little bit, back a tiny bit better. So not, not the best, but again, these are the kind of the older recipes. Then we get some swivel at the waist for the hips. We're coming out almost full splits, actually beautiful range in that regard. Front kick, almost full 90, definitely very, very nice. We do get thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and completely in half. We do get boot swivel. Then we get, oh, I haven't warmed this up, and yeah, it's gonna show. <laughs> so we get some perfect point, some really nice forward, and then we get some rocker, but it's all in, it's not out. And that's where the balance kind of gets thrown off because it, it wants to keep going in and there's no play to go kind of outside that balance range and kind of kind of even it out. So uh, yeah, that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other WWE figures. With some other wrestling lines. With some domestics. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with our articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the WWE Elite Collection from the Vault 1 Kane figure is that this figure absolutely rules. Uh, Mattel in general tends to do really good with the Kane figures and yeah, this is no exception. 
not only that, I really like that they are doing these kind of remasters of older Elite Collection figures, just because those of us that got into the line later, you know, obviously some of the prices are crazy, uh, but now, you know, you bring them in the line with some, a little bit of the updated articulation, maybe a new head sculpt, and it's almost a completely new figure that takes nothing away from the original releases. It's just updating and giving new collectors a chance. So really just everyone wins. So I love that they're doing this. I will definitely be getting a lot of figures from this particular part of the Elite Collection and uh, really look forward to seeing just kind of what I missed out on and what's possible. So yeah, um, you know, the, these are ringside exclusives. So I will have a link in the description to the page for this. I believe this figure is still available or is at least up for another back order um, at this point. So if you're interested, you can go check there. Um, and that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, I hope to see you back because you do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, of course, and more. So if any of that appeals to you, come on back. Let's just talk about some really nice plastic and escape the world for a while. Uh, but really at the end of the day, I just hope you're well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.